As we are approaching the general elections, I want to ask our political leaders that we must do peaceful campaigns. We are now in the campaign period. We have the tendency of politicians using goods, hired goods, to threaten others or to cause chaos. We want to ask the politicians, please refrain. Refrain or you will face the full arm of the law. I want to ask our youth, we should not be misused. Don't allow to be misused by politicians. Don't allow to be misused. The border border riders, the matato operators, the boys who call themselves the bouncers or who call themselves <laughs> or what? Whichever name you call yourself, whichever name you call yourself, we must maintain the law. We make sure that you maintain law and order. You expect uh, a country to, from this region to be the fifth president. So when we show, we must show excellence, we must show peace, you know. We must show the country that Kisumu is a city of peace. And now I deliver this on behalf of the governor of Kisumu, Professor Peter Nyanyongo, who today joined his sessions the president and the rest of Kenyans in marking Madaraka Day in the capital city of Nairobi. Today, March the 59th, Madaraka, a very special location in Kenyan's history that commemorates our his heroic and painful struggle for independence. On June 1, 1963, guns fell silent, and freedom fighters trooped out of their hideouts. Kenyans danced and sang as they ushered in eternal self rule As the governor of the county of Kisumu, and a leader in the late region economic bloc, I wish to use this special occasion to salute the national government for supporting devolution, an idea that has revolutionized development all over this country. As has been observed by the DCC, Kisumu is now a haven of peace and an investment destination, and will not allow those who are hellbent on portraying Kisumu as a violent hot spot. Governor is seeking re-election and on the 9th of August this year, we are looking forward to a second term for the governor so that we can continue with the regular. We will campaign very peacefully. We will not spread hatred will not abuse anyone, but we're also asking that our opponents appear before the media to make the same commitment, because that's not what we have seen in their appearances. They are spreading malicious propaganda. Their meetings are full of abuse, and they are not selling any agenda. They are beating drums of war. And we are asking them that Kisumu left that station a long time ago. But just like all of you, we are also looking forward to a new republic. And just like you heard from the president's speech, a continuation of the peaceful coexistence that we've seen since the handshake. We are looking forward to a continuation of the good work that he's been doing. We are looking forward to a government that minds about the unity of this country. We are looking about uh, um, forward to a government that is keen on fighting corruption from head to toe. We are looking forward to a government that will ensure that as a country we deal firmly and finally with the issues of ethnicity, what we are calling negative ethnicity. And from where I sit, there is no one, no one at all, who can deliver that other than Baba na Mama. So we are looking forward to the government led by Baba na, na Mama. 59 years ago, 59 years ago, 
wa kama alikuwa 60 Jeramogi aliwaambia wazungu nyoko nyata no huru si ndio 59 years from now i can see a huru kenyata saying no raila no third liberation i think the the wheel has turned round now it is our time it is our time and i think kuna sema baba masai i was nothing i still am nothing it was raila who made me everything and for me raila is my my number one sendio mimi mtoto wa raila sema ni faranga ya raila sema kitu unataka in 2007 nilibeba maiti Tisaini na saba. 97 bodies I carried. Is it true or wrong? True. We carried 97 bodies here in Kisumu. I don't know how many more died. When you ask me where people died more, I think maybe I do right in Kisumu. Sindio. We have suffered. Now we don't want any more suffering. The peace that we want in the next election is peace.